tried to give me fake beer, but I know the props guy, and I paid him off. I get real beer. You get real beer? Yeah. Mm. So Joe and I were just had to do a little intervention. Mm. We gotta, <laughs> yeah, we, we've been trying to get a buddy of ours out of a bad relationship. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's uh, it, let me ask you this: Have you ever stayed with someone you hate just because they look good? Like, yeah. Not exactly that, but you know it's over, it's dead. But the thought of her slobbering on some other dude's lunch is just way too horrifying for you to deal with. So you stick it out a few more years. I think that's the only reason people stay in committed relationships. I don't know. Well, I don't know, but you know, I, I, that's why I hate the expression fear of commitment. Yeah. You know, it's like, you're afraid. Oh, you're afraid of commitment. <laughs> what am I, 12? You're gonna trick me into doing something I don't want to do by calling me a chicken? Look, no one's afraid of doing anything that doesn't suck. Right? No one's running around scared of hand jobs and ice cream cones. Right? Unless you're getting them from the same clown. Man, I love the circus. <laughs> I think being in love is it's like being really hammered. You say a lot of things you think you mean at the time, but then when you sober up, it's too late. You're stuck. You already said too much. You right. made too many promises. Exactly. And by then, you're stuck pretending to be someone who you aren't anymore. And when you break character, they get pissed at you. Like, how come when your friends are over, you have to act so loud and obnoxious? Like, because that's what I'm really like. Uh, I'm only quiet when you're around, so I get to help you. <laughs> you know? It's the problem with love is one day is perfect, and the next day you're bored out of your skull. And it's like three years after that before you finally drum up the balls to end it. And usually around the same time you find someone else who will have sex with you. Uh, cheating is the worst thing you can do in a relationship, but it's also the first thing you regret not doing once she dumps you for some other loser. <laughs> While you're watching her, her hump the last of her stuff into his uh, Range Rover, you're not going to be thinking about the long walks on the beach you took together. No, you're going to be thinking about that big-ass girl that you could have boned at Mardi Gras, but you <laughs> didn't because you, you had, had a girlfriend. girlfriend. <laughs> And you don't get that time back. It's not like you can recreate those moments. You, hey, uh, waitress from the Green Bay Funny Bone, Hello. remember as a comic I played there and we almost Hello. had a threesome with your bisexual roommate, yeah, but I had a dog. girlfriend? Yeah. yeah. I'm coming back through town. Hello? Can we set that up again? Hello? It's over. It's done. No, and that will haunt you until you're an old man watching soap operas and peeing in a bag. You will never think back on the time you were faithful to your special someone, but you may get your final wood thinking about some girl whose name you never knew, who you boned doggy style in a TGI Friday's bathroom and never heard from her again. Hallelujah. <laughs> anyway, if you're bitter like us, you don't have to worry, because there's hope for you. Take a look. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I love the women, but a uh, long-term relationship, that's just not for me. When the doctor told me I only had six months to live, I felt really alone. Forever is a long time. I can't make that commitment. I pictured myself living out my final days as a pariah. I mean, who wants to invest emotional energy into a relationship that's doomed from the start? <coughs> I never imagined I'd find a place where my illness could be sexy. <laughs> Now there's Ill Suitors, the exciting new dating service for men who have a fear of long-term commitment and women who are terminally ill. Thanks to Ill Suitors, I'll never have to break up with a woman again. Thanks to Ill Suitors, I'm counting messages on my answering machine instead of white blood cells. <laughs> Ill Suitors fit my needs perfectly. Why, just when Tracy began to get a little clingy, Things took a turn for the better. With over 20,000 listings, we guarantee you'll find the match you're looking for. With Ill Suitors, you can do all the things you could never do before. I want to spend the rest of your life with you. Go on, throw caution to the wind and fall in love again and again and again. Ill Suitors, an industry leader with over 50% of our clientele coming back for more. Thanks, Ill Suitors. <laughs> Ill Suitors, a real win-win for men and women. Because sometimes you don't just want a date. <laughs> you want an expiration date. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
Have you ever actually had sex with a terminally ill chick? No, but there are uh, girls who are terminally ill because they had sex with me. <laughs> hey, stick around for more man, man show. show. <laughs> the baby. Joel Rogel has the amazing ability to communicate with women who have moved on to other relationships. He gained this ability to channel ex-girlfriends when he was kicked in the head by a horse last Monday. Join us as Joel helps men gain closure by crossing over to the other side. Welcome to the other side with Joel Rogel. We've all had a girlfriend or a wife move on. Today, I'm going to help put men in contact with the women who've dumped them so that they might find closure and begin the healing process. Where's Robert M? Where's Robert M? How you doing? Getting something, getting something with an A. Did you date an Annie? Yes. Or an uh, Annie. Yes. I'm getting a very strong sensation. I can see Annette very clearly. She's crying to her friends about you. She's saying, Robert. Oh, wait, she's not crying. She's laughing. <laughs> she's saying, Robert never gave me an orgasm. <laughs> she, she's also doing this. I'm, all the girls are laughing. I'm not sure what that is. Is that a C or possibly a U or a lowercase N? I don't know. I, I hope this comforts you. <laughs> I'm getting a Karen. Did someone here used to date a Karen? Karen. I'm getting some very strong vibrations. I, I feel very heavy. Oh. <laughs> very, very heavy. <laughs> You'll be happy to know she's put on a ton of weight since you last saw her. <laughs> wait, no, wait, wait. No, I'm sorry, she's lost the weight. Hold on, she's gained it. <laughs> and lost it again. <laughs> and gained it again. Oh, my mistake, she has a guy laying on her. <laughs> and he's been going up and down for hours. She must be mad at him, she's slapping his bottom. No, she's not mad at him. I hope this comforts you. I'm getting in the cold. Is there someone here whose heart was broken by a cold? Yeah. <laughs> oh my friend. I see her. She desperately wants to contact you. There's something. There's something she really wants to tell you. And a lot of other guys on the list. <laughs> something about a test. Was she a student? <laughs> Which time? It looks like she got a grade of positive. <laughs> I've, I've lost it. I hope this helps the healing begin. <laughs> I'm getting energy from... I'm getting energy from Trish. Is, is she the ex of someone here? Yeah, the dish. The dish? Oh, what a loser. 
No wonder she left you. Your ex is in terrible pain since you've broken up. She's calling out your name. She's calling out to you. Your name is Dick, right? <laughs> no. She's screaming out for Dick. <laughs> Are you Dick? No. <laughs> well, she seems to want this dick very badly. <laughs> Think about who this dick might be and I'll come back to you. <laughs> I'm getting very strong energy coming from... Is there a Joe here? I see you and your ex playing football. Yes. I, I guess you were a center because I, 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 I see you bent over waiting for the ball. But... Wait, I'm confused. Why are you naked? <laughs> that isn't football. At least not the way I play. <laughs> That's neither here nor there. That was he not wants you. He wants you to know he loves you. <laughs> he misses you terribly. He says he wants to get back together with you. Is this true? No, that's not true. He says he knew you'd say that. <laughs> that's, that's not true. I hope this helps the healing process. <laughs> that's all the time we have for the other side. Remember, we all have an ex-girlfriend. In fact, someone is having yours right now. Show, we inherited a lot of great things, like yes, the Juggies, okay? <laughs> but we really wanted to work with Arturo the Midget, but the problem was yeah, he was fiercely midget. devoted to Adam and Jimmy. You know, I'd been watching Arturo for a long time, and even though I knew it was wrong, sometimes the uh, head can't tell the heart what to do, so I set out to steal another man's midget. <laughs> hey, hello. All right, it's Doug Stanhope. Yeah, he, all right, man. Yeah, I hear you're not with Adam and Jimmy anymore. Well, yeah, well, you know. Man, that mean. sucks. Listen, why don't we get together and talk? Well, you know, I, I don't think I'm ready, man. I don't want to actually do any gags with you. I wouldn't do that to Adam and Jimmy, but we could talk. Well, I'll I send a car for you at three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good to see you laugh again. Tell me some of the things you and Jimmy and Adam would do around here. Well, Doug, I don't, don't want to talk about that. Baby, it's not, no one's gonna know. It's just us. Come on, it'd be fun. It just feels wrong. It doesn't feel right. It just... Listen, we're just friends. Okay. Well, there was this one time that I played a bumblebee and I was really joking. but I still find it hard to talk about. Well, of course you do, and you should. You're above that kind of buffoonery. I always thought of you like a, a leading man. You, you know what I would like to really do? What's... I like to be a song and dance man. No. You can do that? Well, yeah. Okay. Show me. I don't know. No. Show me. Show's new song and dance, man. Really? No fooling? <laughs> Wait, I can't do this. It's too soon. I just can't do it to the guys. Hey, I, I understand. Baby, don't worry. These things take time. Yeah, you probably already knew this, but I have a casting agent friend. He said the whole time that you were with Jimmy and Adam, they were trying to get that mini-me guy behind your back. 
No. If you were my midget, I'd treat you like a princess. <laughs> Maybe I will do your show. I do happen to have this contract laying around. <laughs> I promise, you're not gonna regret this. That's some psycho I can't get rid of. <laughs> Art, come on. Art, it's not what it looks like. <laughs> Listen to me, it's not what it looked like. You gotta stop being so jealous. Relax. You're still the only midget that I love. But you said I was gonna be your song and dance man. Oh, you will, Arturo. I promise. You will. Really? Ah! <laughs> oh! Ah! That should have been in a film festival. What the hell is wrong with you? You had a midget firing oranges at another midget's ass. I know, that's why I had to have the organ in front of me to hide the erection. <laughs> Poor, Poor man, man show after this! <laughs>here he moonlights over he's got another gig uh, called fear factor fear fact fact <laughs> which is one of my favorite uh, people humiliate themselves for money shows you on know there. a lot of contestants get paid thousands of dollars to eat disgusting stuff on that show but i can tell you that the unsung hero on that show is my boy josh silverman he is the fear factor taste tester all that crap for those people have to eat this he guy has to me. test it before everybody What's up, dude? How you doing, my friend? How's it going, man? I think you can use the juggy massage. You juggy massage. Poor Josh. Now, Josh, hero. how much do you get paid to be a Fear Factor taste tester to eat all that crap? Five hundred a week. Five hundred dollars a week. Fifty grand. Fifty thousand if they win. And you do it for five hundred. And you're gonna make twice that much appearing on this show. Isn't that nice? I'm not. Just paying. to get a little juggy <laughs> massage. Let me shake your hand, because you know, without you, Joe, Joe wouldn't be a millionaire. Listen, yeah. what, what are you, you going to eat tonight, man? Uh, I got some boiled pig uterus. Nice! Yeah! Bring it over! Boiled pig uterus. Christy, show him what he's won. Hey! Oh, there you go. Come on, big mouthful! This is the man show! Big mouthful! Big Anybody mouthful! Else? Anybody want to try it? No! no. Close the show out! out. Close it up! No, girls on trampolines! There you go.